Okay, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for coming. Tonight we're, <laughs> we're going to talk about data mining within Sector Surfer. There's a lot of data in Sector Surfer that's available for our use. So I thought, let's take a look at what could we do with this available data. Could we put it to use and perhaps create a strategy that might be beneficial to us? We're going to find out. I'd like to remind everyone that this is for educational purposes only. I'm not recommending that you follow this. Uh, if you do, of course, it's at your own risk. First question came up, what is data mining? Well, I went to Wikipedia to see what they say about <coughs> data mining. And as you can see here, it's a computational process of discovering something new about an available database. You can get into a lot more technical Jordan, but I tried to uh, melt it down to just the nuts and bolts there. The, the, the idea is to extract information from the database, and you're looking to discover something new, something that is commonly not seen unless you do some sort of analysis of a database. Question is, where do we go to find data within Sector Surfer? There is a large body of information. If you recall, at our first Sector Surfer meeting a few months ago, I mentioned Jive, Joe's Information Vault for Everyone. In other words, I did a manual process within the Hall of Fame to pull out information that I thought could be analyzed. Fortunately, after some conversations with uh, Scott, Judd, he had thought, let's do it, but we'll make it a Christmas present. So before the end of the year, he incorporated this concept into Sector Surfer, and I'm going to show you how we're going to, uh, to find it. Within the Hall of Fame, Under the Hall of Fame tab, we come all the way down here, download Hall of Fame data, it's a CSV file. And it downloads all of the strategies within the Hall of Fame, safety, mutual fund, ETFs, top dog, ultra inverse, and those that are widely held. So you're not limited. Jive that I created, I looked at just ETFs because ETFs for a variety of reasons are of interest to me. There's some pros and cons about ETFs, but even more so about some of the other types of instruments that are available. So that's where you go to get all of the data. It's a vault of information. It selects all information from the sector circular strategy charts. You're not limited. There are about 42 different characteristics on each strategy chart that you can review. It gives us the ability to compare details with numerous strategy charts. We do not have to rely only on the safety score. Uh, that's what one of the major characteristics that has been used is look at safety score, our performance. And we have the ability to now analyze all the critical details and we can sort by column. And I'm going to show you how I did that. Jive is formatted. It's a massive uh, Excel spreadsheet. It's approximately 7,300 cells of information. <clears throat> there are currently approximately 166 different strategies in the Hall of Fame. So there's more than enough to whet your appetite looking at you know, the available uh, data. And it is sortable using the Excel sorting method. As I mentioned, there are approximately 42 individual characteristics for each strategy. And in lieu of looking at a chart, trying to find all that information, now you have it on all of them within one Excel file. I know you can't read this, but this just gives you an idea. All of this information, this data, and this is just only ETFs. So this is not, this is only one of the six tabs of information, but this is what I focus on for ETFs. And you notice down here at the bottom, I have 
annotated, used. In other words, those are the columns that I'm interested in. The rest of this stuff or this exercise, I'm not using. So these columns with has used. So my next step is to look at this massive Excel spreadsheet. For some reason, you can't see it up there, but if this is the left view, which is the left side of that massive Excel spreadsheet. This is the center, and once again, these are the various characteristics that you can get regarding each strategy. Several of them I will use. There are a few of them I don't use. The ones I don't use are generally referring to the index itself, the S&P 500. I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in what is applicable to the strategies that are presented. And then the right side, as you can see, are all the different symbols. We have up to, you can put up to 12 symbols per strategy, as you all know. And then these are the ID numbers for each strategy. In case you find something interesting, you can copy one of these strategies and use it yourself, which is a very nice feature.